Hey everybody, it's Kathy Fielder and welcome to the Fielder Report. Today we're going to talk about something that actually is such an easy, simple way to transform your room. Other than paint, textiles are the way to soften your space, make your space more graceful, make it look truly like a designer created it for you. And so I just kind of wanted to walk through some of the simple rules that I use when I start a design project in recreating a room and how textiles really can transform your space. You know, I often get asked as, you know, my design opinion on how, what to pair with what, what looks nice, what goes together. And I can tell you the most surefire way to make an elegant, beautiful space is creating layers and textures with your fabrics from beautiful faux fur, beaded pillows, luxury, linens, all of these elements come together to create an incredibly beautiful sense of style in your space. You just have to know what you want that space to say. I thought today what I might do is walk you through some of my spaces in my own home from bedrooms to my library and just talk a little bit about those rooms and how I've designed them. I've worked with the people who live in them. My daughter Isabella, my mom, Mary lives with us, talking to them about what they want and what they want their room to feel like and look like. You know, my room is definitely Parisian glam. It's a suite. It's very um, inviting, very luxurious. Isabella's room is more of kind of bohemian. I would think like an anthropology vibe. My mom's room has definitely um, got more of a vintage vibe to it with a blush, um, just kind of calming palette. You know, my library is a very kind of modern take on traditional pieces with lots of pops of color beaded pillows, this beautiful luxe faux fur. And so it's really just knowing kind of what you want that space to transform into and using textiles to make that wish come true. One of the favorite things that I absolutely love about my room is every morning when I wake up, it's light, it's bright, it's um, just an edited palette that really does make me wake up feeling refreshed and relaxed. I truly love the space. It inspires me. It has lots of soft textures. It's very um, warm and inviting while being very glamorous and beautiful. And so that for me is an oasis that I can enjoy every day at the end of the day and refresh and unwind in. I often get asked um, when someone walks into one of the rooms that I've designed in my home or someone else's home, how, how did you put that together? That doesn't make much sense to me. And I think understanding that layers of texture and different patterns can go together remembering that the palette is key to tying it all together. You need some solid basics with texture and then you can add in the different patterns and really, really make something dynamic and spectacular remembering that, say on your bed, a, a beautiful linen paired with a lovely um, velvet, some faux fur, throwing in this beautiful textured pillow. In Isabella's room, for example, I built, built almost her entire bedding collection around one pillow that we found that just had this kind of lovely vintage carpet bagger vibe almost. And so, you know, knowing that finding a very key piece and building your space around it is oftentimes the best way to create a luxe space with lots of texture. Even a rug, you know, the rug that I have in my library, I actually have it um, in another room in my home in New Orleans. And I, it's simply just every time I look at it, it makes me happy. And so I've built my entire library around this particular rug. And so I think looking at those things and understanding these pieces that you really love and want to incorporate, they're key to you being so happy with the finished product and they really do make you smile and feel more at ease every time you walk into a space. One of the pieces in my mom Mary's room that we all love and actually has been in our family for years is her bed. Um, it's a beautiful old antique that we painted white and just really layered it with plush textures that are simply inviting for her. Um, they make her feel better at the end of the day. And I know I keep going back to that, but really your spaces should be well organized and well appointed so that when you finish your busy life, your busy day, you get home, whatever space that is that you're unwinding in, they really, it really wraps its arms around you. I always say that a well-designed room wraps its arms arms around you and you sink in and you enjoy and you can focus on the things that matter most. And so again, going back to those key elements and key pieces that really, you know, speak to you, those are such an important part of creating lovely spaces that you enjoy and your whole family enjoys. Speaking specifically to textiles and of 
course, I own Isabella Collection, which is a bedding manufacturing company where I've spent years creating beautiful bedding sets, right? And people always ask, does that all come from the same fabric manufacturer or from the same fabric company? And actually, no. One of the key things to layer any room, any bed, is to make sure that your sourcing different textiles from different places, right? And so you wanna make sure that those layers don't look too matchy-matchy for lack of a better term, just like you wouldn't want every piece of furniture to be from the same um, line in your bedroom. The same thing with your textiles. You wanna mix, you wanna match, you wanna layer, you want it to be soft, you want it to be functional, and so all of these, all of these things really come into play into creating this designer look. Um, one of my most favorite, favorite fabrics for bedding is linen. Um, I've always said that I'll always have a linen duvet cover. They really breathe, they're very functional. Yes, they get a little wrinkled, but there's something about them that is such a livable, wonderful quality, and it's so easy to sleep in. And so keeping that in mind also, your bedding should be beautiful, but it also has to be functional, right? And so you really wanna pay attention to all those elements, all these layers, and, and think of the season also, um, in order to create that beautiful bed. You know, speaking just of living spaces in general, say your living room, your library, you have pieces that you love and maybe they become a little bit outdated. And so one key way is to find and always keep a good upholsterer close at hand. You can paint the frame of a chair and add a new fabric and literally transform a space. And so just keeping that in mind that reutilizing older pieces and revamping them, reinventing them is not only great for a room and for you, it's also great for the environment and a good way for us to support being sustainable. Even the sofa I'm sitting on actually used to be gold with a black frame. And so all I did was have my upholsterer paint it. I found a fabric that I absolutely love. It transformed the room. It's a statement piece. It's something that I dearly really enjoy seeing every time I walk into the space we sit and we read at night or whatever we're doing. So just keep in mind that use, utilizing those older pieces that you really love and reinventing, remaking them is a key factor to your happiness and to making your space look like new. Thank you so much for joining me on the Fielder Report today, talking textiles and reinventing spaces. It's one of my favorite subjects to talk about. If you want to know more and learn more, then please visit kathyfielder.com. And if you are on YouTube, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Cheers.